St. Lucia is set to deploy officers of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force to Dominica as part of a contingent from the regional security system. This news was revealed by National Security Minister Herman Gil Francis during a press gaggle outside the Parliament on Tuesday. Minister Francis explains that St. Lucia is treaty-bound as a member of the Collective Defence Agreement to come to the aid of a defence ally. Well, um, we are members of the RSS, Regional Security System. The treaty indicates that um, any country that requires assistance when it comes to civil unrest and for crime, that we are, we are um, duty-bound to assist. So I've discussed this matter with the Prime Minister and we have agreed to assist Dominica with a number of officers. The Regional Security Pact among a group of Eastern Caribbean nations is currently one of the longest lasting collective defense agreements in the world. There have been reports of political violence in Dominica ahead of the December 6th general elections. This week, residents of Marigot burnt tires and blocked roads in protest over what they claimed is an unfair electoral system in need of reform. We've been asking for electoral reform for over 10 years now we're asking for it, right? For instance, my wife died in died 2011, and I can show you the evidence where she voted, 2014, right? So she left this cemetery, came home and vote and go back and go back and, and like that. Hold on, I want somebody to explain that to me, right? Francis discloses that a squad of officers is scheduled to depart to the Nature Isle but indicates that the number could change based on the requirements of the RSS and conditions on the ground. I'm not too sure that we're talking about eight. Um, the fact is that um, we, because of our own situation here, we couldn't allow our serving officers to go. So we have asked some officers who are on vacation, uh, if they're so kind to come back to work, they'd be paid for their vacation and given allowances, and they have agreed. How long are they going to stay? Um, we're not too sure. Um, but it depends on what the, the coordinator of the RSS decides. According to the RSS website, the regional security system was created out of a need for a collective response to security threats which were impacting on the stability of the region in the early 1970s and 1980s. In October 1982, four members of the Organization of the Eastern Caribbean States, namely Antigua and Barbuda, Dominica, St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Barbados to provide for mutual assistance on request. St. Kitts and Nevis joined after gaining independence in September 1983 and Grenada in January 1985. The MOU was updated in 1992 and the RSS acquired juridical status in March 1996 by way of the treaty which was signed in St. George's, Grenada. Joachim de Plessy, HDS News Force.